So what do we got here? We got an albino corn snake. Yep. Look at that. That's a beautiful little creature right there. And that's just going around and around right there. Look at that. Fun. Yeah, she's a good snake. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's GNSDC06. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a baby albino corn snake camera. Okay, so first, we got Ask and Betty. So we can really dig in there. This snake, Skipper, loves to dig. Look at her. She's a beautiful snake. Yes, she is. All right. All right, so once we got all that going, um, the temperature is good to keep them um, keep the heat going uh, to see how hot your snake is. And now we're going to add... Um, a half of a hollow log, okay? As they grow bigger, it, uh, they will need a bigger one. So I'm just going to place that right there. You can also place it wherever you like. Um, it doesn't matter. Alright, now I'm going to add my water dish, okay? It needs to be big enough for them to bathe in. Again, they will need a bigger um, water dish when they grow older, okay? So, now I'm going to add an artificial tree here. You can get these at PetSmart or Petco for pretty cheap. I got the small one. As they grow bigger, it will need a new one again. All right. So, now, the ones, this and another corn snake, were housed in a, a glass tank half the size of this. And people recommend a 20-gallon sometimes. But um, I think this is perfect for them as, but as they grow bigger. Again, they will need a new one. All right. So, now. Let's check out that corn snake. Let's see. All right. So, oh, he's got nice. red eyes and he just ate. He just ate. What did he eat? Um, he just graduated uh, to fuzzies. To little fuzzy mice, huh? Yeah. They eat um, every four days. Well, this one does, yeah, at least. That's cool. Yeah. He's a good snake. So now I'm just going to add some regular leaves I got from my backyard. Uh, if it was um, a bearded dragon, I would be more uh, worried because um, they might think it's their greens. All right. Now I'm going to add some sticks. All right. So, sticks to beat the drums with, okay? Sticks to beat the drums with, cool, yeah. huh? And now, uh, I'm going to add this rock. Just right in front of there to add it more natural, like a more natural habitat. Well, to, to give it that feeling of rock and roll with yeah. the snake. Ah, yeah! Okay. All right. So, after you got that, um, now it doesn't really matter to some people. Uh, like once, like they're always like skate snakes can escape so much, like they'll escape even babies. But I don't believe babies can, uh, because they're just babies. They they're not trying to escape. As they grow bigger, they will need a lock on their cage. Well, why why would they need a lock on their cage? Because th they'll escape. Oh, how do they escape out of that? How they would just like push their nose up there, then oh, come out. then they escape there. Okay. All right. Now so at some point, you know, uh, if you don't have a lock on it, you're gonna want to put like a brick or something on it heavier. Oh yeah, something okay. like that. Okay. Whatever you want to do. And now I'm just gonna put a heat lamp on there. They're they're pretty cheap actually, and uh, they're a 50 watt. But sometimes you gotta get um, a 75 watt. Well, uh, for a what is this? A 10 gallon. Yeah, 10 gallon. 10 gallon tank, 50 watts should be fine to warm that up, but when you get bigger, like a 20 gallon tank, it should be at least 75 watts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because okay. they'll need bigger tanks, definitely. Yeah, definitely. This is just a baby. Yeah, this is just a baby. So, um, be sure to subscribe, people. Thanks for visiting my video. Peace out.